<laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to watching. My, watch, welcome to my live stream with my guest artist, Ian Jackson. Hello. An excellent, prolific watercolorist. That's Water it, that's color that's painter. Prolific. Not an expert, but prolific. Oh. <laughs> that means I've done lots of rubbish paintings. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I like to say expert too. But okay, he's a prolific watercolor painter. Oh, we have some people in the chat already. Let me check. Hello, people. I'm not actually, I mean, I'm. I'm can you read the chat or will you do you want uh, me to read the chat to uh, you? No, I can't. I, I'm, I'm oh, gonna you're going to be work. working. Well, I will be painting, but I can still set chat up. Oh, so, no, any, no, anyway, it's no problem. I, I have to sit here and read the chat to you. Uh huh. Because, okay, so hold on. Oh, we got a bunch of people that just jumped in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Let me bring this out. Um, figure out that you're live. Yeah, just let me bring the chat up. There we go. Right there. That's the minute. I get it. There you go. You're off. Bobby, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Chrissy, Chrissy Canvas Arts here. Uh, right. Corey, Greg, oh, Greg, uh, Greg, uh, hi, welcome. Stop doing that way with chat. Oh, so nice, you guys are here, and so we're gonna get started right yeah. away. And, uh, you're painting. One I'm gonna, I'm gonna feature you now. So, oh, hi God. everybody. But now I'm gonna, I'm gonna feature Ian. So you can see his, you can really see everything he's doing. So he's done the drawing ahead of time. Uh, hey. You want to tell us about the history of this barge? Well, I, I know very little about the history of this barge. The person who should be telling us really is uh, Chrissy. Because Chrissy... Oh. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, she's in the chat. I know, that's what I'm trying to get her to do. So... <laughs> She's going to have to do it written because I do not have her. I do not have her information ahead of um, time. I can't. I can't. Well, um, I'm just getting myself set up. So what I know about this is is the, these uh, like badges, and, and they're called narrow boats, right? They used to use them for uh, ferrying materials from the docks uh, to various places inland. You know, Only the, in the UK. The, is that in the UK? Well, no, I believe they had canals and things like that in Europe. But but uh, Britain's got thousands of miles of these canals, and people wow. use them, people use them nowadays to to go on little holidays up and down the country. Ah, so okay. So what they've done is, is they've converted them into places where they they live. So, yeah, uh, a lot of people go on little holidays on them because they've made them so they've got, like, kitchens and a oh, bedroom. So you, can, and, you, can, you can stay overnight in these boats. Yeah, you can. Some people live on them. I, and I that's probably how they but, did, I think Chrissy did say that. Those were the boats that they used to live on. Yeah. Yeah. Up and down the up and down the so canal. What, what what these boats used to do is is uh, they would have a, a living accommodation or they were the lead boat, and at the back of at the back of them they'd have like great big containers that would be pulled along to wherever they were going to go. But before oh, they yeah. had, before they had big mo uh, motorized boats, and I mean. A, a lot of them used to have like steam engines in them, and, and then before that, them. they had horse-drawn ones. And, and before that, even uh, it were horse-drawn. But and okay. some of the horses that um, that Chrissy used to look after are the kind of horses that used to pull these, that the Clydesdale horses, the really big, you know, beefy horses. Oh yeah, they're beefy and strong. Yeah, they're not like they're not like the American stallion pony. The 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 really they're like the Hulk in comparison. But that that's what they were for. They were 
there were like heavy weight lifting horses. All right, Chrissy is um, Chrissy's telling about it in the chat. Let me read it. Oh well, Chrissy knows a lot more about it than I will do, because I'm 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 a mere person who uh, who come to live in the area where they do all that. Yeah, Chrissy <laughs> is the one that gave him this um this idea for this painting today. Mm -hmm. Chrissy uh, Canvas works as the flat no. ones were for transportation called the barge. A badge, yeah. They were horse drawn. Mm. And um and those they lived in. Heavy horses, like you're saying, probably the Clydesdale. Mm -hmm. They badge. were pulled. Um, okay. Right. They she already said they were horse drawn, they were pulled by horses, heavy horses, mm -hmm. Clydesdale, yes. Did they use, I don't know whether they used the sh Shire horses as well, but I think Shire horses are not big enough to uh, pull uh, one of them. It had to be a Clydesdale because they were massive. And they still are. <laughs> Christy, I don't know why you're getting timed out. That's horrible. I don't know what's going on. I see you in the chat. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh. Who says you're getting timed out? Well, if, if, if it's set to so many times per minute, yeah, yeah uh, the only way she can't be timed out is if she's an admin, a, a, a mod. Wow, I can. I'll make her a mod. And then she oh, can. Chris, I'll make you a mod. Typing too much. I don't even have Nightbot. Night. I mean, Nightbot is the one that. Well, it's it's not that. It's an automatic system anyway. If if you do too many uh, answers uh, in the chat for any one time, it times yeah. you out. Okay. All right. And let unless you're a mod. Unless you're a mod and you can answer as many. I, I will make Chris as many as you want. Is my art a mod? Now, she, yeah, she says she's typing too much. If I can, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Kylie Koo Studios here right now, and she's from Scotland. Hi, Kylie. Yeah, and she has some information. She says yes, Shire horses were also barge horses. Oh, I, I thought they were used for pulling uh, big carts for barrels and things like that, Shire horses. And but, Chris uh, says they were white horses. They were always white horses also. Were they? What, Clydesdales? Y yeah. The I don't know. Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Rosalind. When, when you see horses that pulled big carts like, that had barrels and things like that they tended to be black when you see photos really point, yeah i don't know I'll chris is saying that. they were white mm. i've only ever seen one uh oh hi Ro yeah i said hello rosalie and, and kylie hello so nice to see you here my dear friend. Um, yeah, you're going to get started? Oh, Ian, you're going to get started painting? Oh, I don't know what happened. Did you step away? Maybe he stepped away. He did his whole drawing ahead of time. I don't know why he's not responding. Okay. I meant heavy, not white. Oh, okay. She meant heavy, not white. Yep, yep it was the Clydesdale. Mainly because they were sure-footed. Yeah, I know they have big feet. Oh, no. Ian dropped out. Okay. Uh, I'm sure he'll be right back. He's going to be right back. Yeah, I knew something was a little funny when I asked the question he didn't answer so he should be right he should be right back and welcome everybody in the chat the uh, Kylie says think the shires were used in Wales sometimes maybe no Clydesdale Clydesdales there 
We're using whales. Okay. And Rosalie, Rosa, Rosalie, I do need to get back to you. I um, I had told you I was going to get back to you before, but I really um, oops. Let me let me um enlarge this on my iPad and screenshot it to remind me I need to contact you. Um. So, oh goodness, Rosalie, are you on Instagram or Facebook? Because um, I like I communicate. I usually communicate with people um, through direct message in Instagram or um, Facebook. Oh, we hope Ian is going to be back soon. Suffolk Punch. That must be a type of horse. Oh boy, I hope Ian comes back soon. And Chrissy, I'm going to try to make you a moderator. If I can't do it right now, I'm going to um, do it later today after the show. If I can't manage to do it right now. Yes, I have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Same account name. Oh, oh good. Okay, okay. Let me Let me screenshot that. Oh my goodness. Okay, hope Ian's gonna I think Ian will gonna solve the problem. So he's pretty good with computers. So whatever problem he's having, I I bet that he can figure it out. So um in the meantime, maybe I'm gonna try to make Chrissy a moderator. And a hello again to everybody in the chat. Sorry, our guest artist is, he is, has, he's having, e, I mean, he's having Ian Jackson is, I mean, our guest artist is having, um, I guess, some internet issues. I, I'm, I'm sure he'll be right back. And Chrissy Canvas Art, like, um, I'm gonna try. To, I'm trying to make you a moderator. It's, it's it's hard for me to do these things at the same time as when I'm live streaming. Wait, I'm gonna try to do this. Sorry, everybody, if you just came in here, we did have our guest artist Ian Jackson, but he uh, he's having probably some internet problems, and I I hope he'll be back shortly. There we go. I got your channel. Now let me copy your link. Oh, you're looking at me. Oh, it's just too bad you're not looking at his drawing. Okay, hold on. And I'm. Wow, he's gone for a few minutes, so let's be patient and um, whoa, who's that? Okay, okay, Chrissy, I'm, I, I'm just about to do it, and I'm sure it's going to, there we go. Chrissy, you're a moderator now. I did it. Chrissy, you're a moderator now. Okay. You should have turned blue. I hope you did. I know you did because I just added you, so. Oh, goodness. I'm, I get, I'm going to try to... Um, Contact him. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's really good with computers, so I think um, 
Oh, hi. What happened? Hello. Uh, my computer keeps crashing. Uh, so uh, that was an occasion when it crashed for some strange reason. So we can get on with it now. Where were we? I'm going to have to leave uh, the rest of YouTube off and just rely on you uh, telling me what's going off in chat. Right. I'll just tell you what's going on in chat. No problem. All right. Then. So if I don't answer you guys, it's it's because... Uh, I can't see you're on YouTube. Oh, no, I'm phone. following the chat. I, I'll be telling you who's talking and everything and what questions. So we talked a little bit, a little bit about the history of the barge. Which yeah. was a, these are in the, from the UK, right? Not necessarily just the UK. I believe they have them in Europe as well. They were a, a means of transport uh, in the uh, about 200 years ago. What, commuter no, transport, no, commuter transport no, no. as well. Uh, no, I don't think they were for commuter transport. People didn't commute; they, they worked locally most of the time. It was uh, ma it was mainly it was, for, they were, they were for transporting for goods transport. from from the port to uh, manufacturing places like. Uh, for example, they used to bring to Skipton, they used to bring alpaca wool to Skipton, which is where I live generally. Uh, and that alpaca wool were then woven into material for, for making garments. Oh, and yeah, that's, that's Latino. That's like in Latin. Yeah. That's so like in Peru. It, it, it was transported from wherever wherever alpacas come from south america right up, up to liverpool and then from liverpool it went from on one of these on one of these things it went from liverpool all the way across the country uh to uh skip somewhere like skipton and all the cotton mills used to make garments and things like that I'm sorry, Chrissy wants to show if you're going to show your reference photo. Uh, can she do that? Yeah. I, oh, can I can I show the reference photo? I guess. Well, is it a copyright free photo? Uh, I don't know whether I can do it or not. All right, he doesn't uh, know. Let's uh, be safe. Well, better safe than I, I, think, I think I think I can share screen. Well, let's see what I'll, I'll see if I can look at share screen. Uh, uh, application, application window. Goods and supplies. Crow, crow, no. Hi, grayscale painting. Carolyn to be free. Welcome. Hello. If I, if I increase the size of this. Uh, oh, no, that's too good. Maybe not. Never mind about your reference photo. I don't. Well, uh, did you, you want? You're just about to show the reference photo. Uh, I'm I'm trying to get it to go up now. Oh, Carolyn, to be free. I was trying to catch in a, two of your morning streams, and I missed them. Like they said they were live, like it said that it was live, and then I go to it. Right. Like one, I'm sorry, I was talking to um, Carolyn to be free, and Carolyn, uh, one of they said one of them was live, and when I go to it, it said it had been removed, and then another one, um, you had ended. So I have been trying to get your morning live stream. Uh, sorry, can, can you see it now? What you're which what what your reference if you, if you click if you click on if you click on that now uh, there should be another one what says ian screen oh no i can't no i can't see that oh, ian screen i got that yeah yeah click on that and the reference oh, photo, a separate thing. The, the, the reference photo is there oh okay so that's the reference photo that's the reference photo. Right. Slightly different. Did, did Chrissy send you that? Yes, she did, yeah. 
Chrissy Campbell's well, already sent her. I, sent I, him I, would, that. I would assume that that's what she photographed. All right, so that's his reference photo. So uh, I, I can, I can um, make that disappear now, right? I can hide that. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, for me to actually be on, that has to be off. So yes, I know. We just wanted, we just wanted to like just quickly show that. Uh, one thing I am experimenting with with this streamyard is is projecting OBS onto it. I know that's that's a whole uh, different thing. When 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 you can when you do that, you can actually put your you, in your top of your screen. You can OBS, actually, I don't actually, even think yeah. I could ever figure out OBS. OBS, like I I think I started to, but darn, isn't that really confusing? It's, it's not that difficult once you get to you you uh, it. Yeah, once you get it, the getting it is the hard part. I think I need somebody to walk me through it. I mean, I'm, there's probably yeah. tons of YouTube videos. There's probably tons of YouTube videos on it, so we'll see. I don't, I don't even, I don't want, I don't need OBS right now, but in the future, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, I think I'm ready to start. I've got me, yeah, I've got my image up. Uh, I've got, I've got yours there. So, um, oh, Chrissy lives near the canal. Yeah, she did. She does as far as I know. Yeah. So, um, what you do? Oh, you're sweet. Yes. What you, first of, what you do first of all with uh, a watercolor painting is you work from the the back to the front. And does that always mean the top to the bottom? No. It, think think about what what that that there is the background. Right, it, it pretty it's much it's always is right there. It's, it's irrelevant if it's at the top. It's just that it's the background. The right, it could be the middle. It could be the middle. Yeah, it could be the middle. It could be there. That could be the in some strange, obscure uh, arrangement. The this bit here could be the background. Oh, you know, wow. you could be looking. You could be taking a photograph while you're jumping out of a plane, and 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 that would be the background <laughs> you know a skydiver if you're looking down on the earth this would be the background and this would be the fo the top would be the foreground because you're looking down on the earth but we tend to look more up towards up so generally uh paintings uh anything at the top is generally in the background because that's the thing that's far away there you go. All right, so you're gonna start. You start with the background first. Yes. Yeah, so we we get as uh, getting as background first, and that is a load of trees. But I'm not gonna painstakingly paint to you know each individual leaf. No, I'm gonna wet my brush in that area. Oh, excuse uh, me. Can I say hello to people in the chat? Hi, Cleveland. Hello. Hi. Hi, Cleveland Lay, um, Lee or Lay. Uh, nice to see you. I don't think I've ever seen you in my live stream. Welcome. Mm -hmm. And uh, Green Wizard, uh, thanks so much for coming here. So you got you got that there. I cut that all nice and wet. Make sure it's got a nice uh, split. Can you see how how you've got little sh that shininess? That's yeah. How, that's yeah. how wet it should be water yeah that's how wet it should be i'm just gonna switch off me um me um auto focus because that is annoying that is the most single most annoying thing okay on the computer Right, let's see if I can uh, see if I can get a, a, a nice Right, I'll see if I can zoom as well now. That's it. That's better. 
Right, so we've got that nice little glare of um, that. That tells you that that's wet enough to do a job. All right, when it's got that glow of, uh, and, and you should work while it's like that with it rapidly, okay. really, really fast, as fast as you can do it. I'm I'm going to make a very very limey yellow green, right? Because we work light to dark in watercolors. So the sky isn't showing at all. No. You can only just about see parts of the trees on this picture because you're at such a funny angle, you're not going to see the sky, you're only going to see because the majority of the painting is, is there at the bottom half, so the other half it don't quite fit go to the uh the, the sky level because there's trees there, so we're uh, right. And I want right, to so hardly really, is really, the sky at all in this painting. Hardly at all. The background is mostly trees. Yeah. So I'm gonna just randomly get some really, really light green in, and don't don't just be one green. We're, we're don't gonna, just, just don't do one green. You're saying right? No. So I've got I've got that light green, green, right? It's gonna be like. Three, three shades of green. Yeah, yeah, a light, a medium, and a dark. Oh, okay. But we want to do it while it's all wet, so it all mingles in nicely together. See how that's gone like that? Yes. And a, a, a good, a good thing to remember when you're doing trees, right? Is the dark always tends to be at the bottom. Really? It, well, think about it. If light is coming from that direction, from, from yeah. above, oh, I it's, get going it. lighter, it's going to be lighter at the top than it is at the bottom because less light gets through. So, and I'm not going to painstakingly, because it's a background, I'm not going to be painstakingly doing high detail we want it to be slightly fuzzy and not quite recognizable so what I'm, i would normally do here is uh possibly um chrissy chrissy kid says watercolor hates her no, it doesn't. You've got to. You, you've got to. Hate it. Her. <laughs> it doesn't. Naughty Chrissy. It, you got. You just got to learn to control it. Naughty, you're naughty, Chrissy. Naughty Chrissy. It loves, <laughs> you. It, it loves you, Chrissy. It really does. Honestly, oh, no. you've got to learn to control it. If somebody wants to stick to one or two mediums, I say go for it. If that, that's yeah. the one. To be frank, I mean that's. I Unless mean, you have to fool around on the side, like I mean, like do stuff on the side, like and maybe she's, maybe she will never do it to the extent that she does her um acrylics and oils at such a professional mm. level. But you, there maybe there's learning to be had on just like uh, fooling around with watercolors and trying well, it. I mean, thing is, I, I, I was just thinking today there's been one or two paintings being done in oil. And and one of the best ways to do oils is is by very thin water like glazers. I know that's what Tiffany Fine Art was just saying yesterday. Well, I mean already. I mean I already. I've already heard of glazes. So I was asking her about glazes. That's exactly what it is. Especially if you're talking about um, doing human faces. That's that's a similarity with watercolor. These glazes. Yeah. The glazing yeah. that they, they call in water, I mean, that they call in oil painting, the glazes, that, that mm -hmm. is the similar, that's a very similar thing to um, watercolor, except that with um, oil painting or acrylic, if you don't like what you did, you could totally gesso it or white it out and do it again. That's you, you can go back over it, can't you? Because it's opaque. But now, you can't do that with watercolor unless it was a, a light area and you just wanted to paint it darker. So I've given it a few minutes to settle a little bit, and now I'm going to re-agitate it with some strong dark. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the thing. You have to know about the timing of yeah. drying. Like when the best time is to apply certain colors. And and, and don't be scared to like because it this is, is fairly random. Because because it's like Right. It's, 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 you don't it's, want it's, it's, uh, not want it detailed. Hmm? It's because it's in the distance, you do not want to yeah. you do not want it detailed. That's right, yeah. So now now we've got that, I'm happy with that for time being. We might need to go back over it later once it's dried a bit. But uh, because while, while it you, dries lighter. You what you, you water now uh it needs to have a reflection. So what I'm gonna do is pick up some yellow and it's slightly drier this paint now. So I'm going to go out. Like that. Oh my goodness. What guess what Chrissy just got? Why she just got an airbrush. And oh yes. Yes, she, yes, she'll have a lot of fun it's with her that. new toy she said. It's her new toy. And I'm I'm bit carefully going around. I was say carefully. I'm I'm Right, so and now we're coming away from where that reflects. I'm going to put a little bit of blue in that. So blue, blue. Even even though, even though you can't really, it, it's like you can't really see it. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, Cleveland Lee or Lay, you do paintings as well. Awesome. I, I need to check out your channel. I'm gonna I gotta screenshot it. it. It reminds me to look later to um people that I need to check out. Mm-hmm. We can uh, put bits Please of away, what kind of paintings do you do? What medium or mediums? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's see if we can get a little bit of that dark in there to redefine that. Kylie, you wanted a air. I mean, what is it? Air. Did I say air? What is that word for that? Oh, yeah. Um, another area of green that's uh, green on this is the grass. So it, we've got that. Uh, kind of creating an area and then there's this bit here that creates a green area but um, I'm going to do this directly we aren't wetting it I'm going to do this more airbrush oh Kylie you've always wanted an airbrush I never knew that Oh, she'll have to get in contact with Christy because I think Christy got a really good deal on on a. Yeah, it sounds like it. Brush. Yeah, it sounds like she got a really good deal. Because you know, tools like that, a lot of art shops and craft shops can uh, really twist your arm behind your back. No, it was on Amazon. So I've got a. Oh, she, she wants to try everything and i have practically tried almost uh -huh. all the painting mediums the one the one painting medium that i really didn't try that very much is gouache but i've spent i i took a, a number of watercolor classes i've i have spent i spent a number of years doing watercolor off and on and i even took a number of watercolor classes and oil painting and acrylic and caustic and um oh it's this like i'm saying that um the world's your oyster and you never know what i have done a lot of is gouache and I'm not not to, I, don't, I don't have a desire to do gouache um right now i'm just focusing on my alcohol ink paintings i think a lot of people focus on their alcohol 
Get out of here. <laughs> that always comes up. Those jokes always come up. I know. Odin's at Bestons. <laughs> right. But so, I, I guess you don't, Ian, do you? I, I never hear you back no, or anything. Uh, it's incredibly rare that I have, because, because I'm diabetic and I have medication uh, that uh, can cause problems if you have alcohol. I don't drink at all, hardly, ever. So, but I used to do when I were a youngster. Right. Not that that is not clever about that. So. Whenever I start talking about alcohol ink paintings, that people always make jokes about that, the alcohol. That they'll say, oh, that's a really, that's a really bad way to, that's a really horrible way to waste alcohol. I'm like, come on. The, the ironic thing is, it, the vast majority of uh, alcohol that's produced is actually used in industry for all sorts of other things, not not for consumption. So I'm doing a little bit of what's called lifting now. Now it's got to a stage where it's starting to dry a little bit. I'm getting some water on it. And um, it started to dry a little bit, so now it's ready for that. Yeah. And and you can put some nice effects in that while it's like that. Thank you, Kylie. Uh, um, yes, I have a paid online class. I have two paid online classes um, that I was able to create in the past couple of years and one of them is um um when when oh, one of them is encaustic with um collage and it's vintage whimsy and vintage whimsy and wax and that's the name of the title of it and the other one is um how to do very beginner level but very stunning and animated digital ipad animation mm -hmm. I, I keep saying it's to myself, I can't even say the whole word. It, it's such a magical thing. I'm going to do one myself one of these days, but I just don't feel like it'll be successful. So, successful at what? Uh, uh, one of those uh, online um, classes. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually make one. Do you, oh, but, to make one. Oh, yeah, because. It's really hard to market them unless you have like an e like really you can't really market on Facebook unless you pay for Facebook ads, um, and you can't really market much on Instagram unless you pay for Instagram ads. And um, I didn't oh, find that what what you, do, what you have to do is develop an emailing list, and that's who you market to. And like luckily, I was able to um, join this thing where they where you donate one of your online classes for free and then all these people come to you and then you end up adding to your, and now I built my email list up to 500 people so I can market to them. Yeah, but it's, it's a little bit, uh, a bit like spamming though, that mate, for me. It's not. Um, well, I guess, no. I don't know. I don't it, know if it's that spammy, depend. I don't know, I don't know if that's spamming. No, it's not. It, you're, you are allowed to market to your email list. I've, I've watched a number of I know, I know it's what people do, but it's like um, we, we get annoyed when people like send us adverts for stuff like that that we're not bothered about, don't we? Yeah, and, well, yeah. But you I'm have to warm them up first. You uh, need to warm them up with different kinds of um, things. Like things that involve their their input. Mm -hmm. So up to now, it's a very green painting. What I want to do for a right, bit, green. I, want sure, I, I want to make sure that this is absolutely bone dry before I go any far. So I'm going to get my pink lightsaber out. And guess what? The thing about StreamYard is so wonderful is that we first we're gonna first. Are you, did you mute yourself? You did, right? Didn't you? No, no. Because no, StreamYard has this feature that you know that I just discovered that we we might hear your heat drying tool right at the beginning, and then all of a sudden StreamYard actually mutes it. It mutes it by itself. 
Right. Well, we'll find out in a second. I already, know, well, I already know this from... Um, I know. Grace. It, 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 Gracie did it the other day, didn't she? Yeah, Gracie. Like, and I was, t I kept telling people, I didn't mute it. Gracie didn't mute it. It's StreamYard. We hear it at the beginning, and then it's going to um, StreamYard mutes it. Right. Let's go then. I mean, it's not allowed anyway. And there it goes. It's going loud. Like, you saw, everybody, you saw how loud that was before? I didn't mute it. Ian didn't mute it. That's the one re really great feature about StreamYard. It made it, I mean, so, with Gracie, it made it so we couldn't even hear it at all. Here, we can hear it just at a very low volume. I mean, the, 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 um, The dryer we is quite close talk. to the camera. That's fine to talk. We can, we can still hear you talk over top of that. It's just I can't hear myself, so <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Always making sure when you're going on to a new section that needs to be separate, that your areas where the touch are absolutely dry. Or you'll get bleed, and we don't want bleed. <laughs> so I'm not have, what do you I'm have to be careful it. about? What do you you have to be careful that it dried to a certain extent so it doesn't blow? No, it, it, if you don't want that bit to bleed into this bit here, it needs to be bone dry. Right. So one thing I've got to do before I forget. Um, I've, I've got to try and do mix a, a, a like a weird green, weird green. A weird, a weird, a weird green. green. Well, on the uh, on on right, we've got all these like nice natural greens here, right, which you would consider to be foliage green and your grass greens, but this green here on the boat, it's got some green there. It's not, it's more like a fail or turquoise. It's not natural at all. It's like a very greeny, turquoisey colour. So I'm going to mix a, a paint up like that and do that next. So you think like a turquoisey green is not a natural colour? This, this particular, this particular oh. green that I'm mixing isn't, no. But it's nearest I can say to it. You mean it's like not seen in nature? I'm um, not, not in foliage, I guess. Not it, in foliage, right? It, not in nature. I know, I know there's certain light effects in nature that have turquoise in it, but I'm, I'm trying to... It's like a bottle green. <laughs> a, a man, like a man-made But I, I was just laughing at uh, Kylie's comment. She said, she said I, didn't, I didn't have the alcohol stuff. So she actually tried vodka on paper as an experiment. Um, we need to use ninety. Um, really need to use ninety-one percent alcohol or greater, which is I can't get ninety-nine percent, but it, maybe in Europe and the UK you can. Yeah. But um, ninety-one percent is good enough. But don't for alcohol in painting, seventy percent is not good enough. You need ninety-one percent or more. Mm. So the vodka probably was not uh, was, didn't have enough alcohol in it for it. I think I think rum would be better because that's ninety eight percent. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah. Anyway, that's pro uh, that's much but, more but, expensive but, alcohol. But, 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 the the alcohol that you drink are much more expensive. I can get the ninety one percent isopropyl alcohol for so cheap. I get a three pack for like ten dollars. I mean, from a from a dollar store or a pound shop in in the UK. You can you can buy little bottles of isopropyl. Right, they're cheap. Isopropyl alcohol is pretty cheap at ninety one percent or or greater percentage. So that's that's like a little lud that it's got to put over it when it rains. It's like a gazebo. <laughs> right, ever so fiddly this. Let's let's get some base color in it because it's all about the base. Oh my gosh! Look, what Chrissy Canvas already said it's called snot green. 
you know, I don't know. I, I don't think it's... You know, the snot that comes out of your nose. No. I, well, I've never had snot that colour. <laughs> I had when you're really sick, when you really have a oh. bad cold. When you really oh. have a bad cold, really? it is. Really? You need to go to see a doctor then. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Well, at that point, yeah, for the most part, yes, you do. Right. Let's see if we can... Uh... Start spotting some bits in. Hi, Michael it, McReynolds. Welcome. The, the boat, the right? It, uh, he, he flies tons of drones. Mm. Oh, they're putting loads of, loads of rules and regs in for drones these days, aren't they? I don't I guess you're right. They probably are. I, I would have, do you know, for me, wedding photography stuff, I would have liked to have got a. a got oh, myself, dang a, it. A, a yeah. I think I've seen that. And uh, I, I, I thought twice about it because they started bringing boatloads of rules and regs out for it. And I thought, I really haven't got the time. Like to Ryan, well, he's in a different country. He's US and you're UK, so different regulations. Oh, uh, it's, you know, you can't be within like 20 miles or a, a, an airport or you can't go up so far. Or, and how do I know all that rubbish? I don't know whether I'm 20 miles away from a uh, an airport. Never even been to one. You never been to what? An airport. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never flown? Nope. I, oh, I, have, I have actually yeah, flown. Yeah. I've flown, but... It, Are uh, you afraid to fly? No, it's not that I'm afraid to fly. It's just I've never flown. Wow. So but, like, I know I know your wife um uh, oh, like wife she, visited the US. US. she visited Canada and the US and I'm like she did. aren't you gonna like go on a trip with her to like Canada and the US sometime? Uh, you are kidding, aren't you? <laughs> oh <No. laughs> <laughs> that's that that's my free time. <laughs> no, that's your free time. <laughs> What no vacation? Free time from, right? It's also free time. Well, good. Let her go and be with your family. That's what she wants to do. Thing is, when I when I pay money to go on holiday, I I I, I want to get my money's worth. And yeah, my wife's quite what? happy to just sit in the sun. And I'm not. I can't you... just sit in the sun. Oh, so you to... you do not want to go to a uh, like. You don't want to just sit on the beach. That's not your thing. Absolutely not. What a waste of money that is. No, you don't have to. Like, you could visit the state, the wonderful state, I mean, not state, the wonderful um, federal or what is the word? Federal parks that we have in the United States. Um, oh, yeah, I, I, that's what I'd want to do. But I've, I've been on walks with my wife for uh, several occasions and she gets about half an hour into walking and she goes, I'm tired. Oh, okay. Because she didn't have a lot of energy because she's only little. So, and then she's you, only then we little. To, then yeah. we have to stop. I'm probably as little as her. Well, she's she's about five foot two. Oh, she's taller than me. Oh, is she? Are you only little? I'm five foot one. I go, to the gym, I go to the gym almost five days a week, and I, I get and I walk on the treadmill at at um four. If I can, four miles an hour for at least 45 right. minutes. Oh, well, that's slightly faster than normal walking speed. Oh, yeah, that's like that's trying to get your heartbeat up. That's yeah, yeah. So, um, comfortable walking is maybe 3.5 miles an yeah. hour. That's comfortable walking. I, I, I can easily do three miles an hour. Oh, yeah, three miles an hour mm. is easy. Yeah, today I was just doing today, I didn't want to go all out because I didn't have the mm -hmm. energy. So instead of doing 3.7, which 3.7 miles an hour or 4.4 miles an hour, I was doing 3.4 or 3.5 miles an hour. And that was like an easy, that was easy walk to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting to get uh, this uh, boat in there, uh, get bits of it in. 
Oh, <laughs> let's see. Well, Michael yeah. McReynolds says, thank you, Kathleen. And uh, I might have to stop in a bit and um, let it dry. That's the only problem with water because you've got to, you got you you must at some point leave it for a bit and let it uh, go through the process of drying. So, what's the? Oh my goodness! Oh no, Chrissy's joking with you. Is she? What's she joking with me oh, about now? Who's famous for? She said Ian is so tight. He went to Whitby, who's famous for fish and chips. He had he had spam instead. Ah, Are well, that, 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 that's, that, that's where you that that's where you're wrong, Chrissy, because I bought my dad fish and chips, and I had spam because I don't really like fish. Ah, okay. <laughs> He's saying that I, 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 I'm just trying to be careful because I've got. I, I, I've just been uh, paid for a commission, but unfortunately, because it's come from America, I've got to wait six weeks for it being paid. Six? You so, have to wait six weeks to be paid. Yeah. Oh, because you don't want to, you don't want to have your own PayPal account. No, it, it got done through a check, so it, it, it's going to. I know you're doing it through a check instead of PayPal. Well. We couldn't do it like that anyway, but um, okay, hmm. all right, that's uh, nice. Commission, congratulations! So, but, but I mean, it any, any any piece of artwork that I do, uh, it it that's the money that I get to actually continue to buy me equipment because I try to self sustain me art. So, how many what commissions do you get like in a year? A lot, or no? That's not a thing. No, that's not no. I, I'll, I'll, uh, in a in a in a good in a good month, I'll probably have uh, two. Oh, two in, in a, a year? Month. No, two in a month. Oh, two in a month. Yeah, I mean they're all different things and different sizes and things. Right. So not all. I mean, some might be only a couple of quid, and some might be fifty, sixty quid. So, but at the end of the day, it contributes towards uh, helping to buy more equipment so I can come on and do things like this with everybody. Because, unbelievably, it actually costs money to do stuff like this. It does? Oh, yeah, yeah for paper materials. <laughs> and, and, you know... I, I you never know, think that. Like, when, it, I, when it, I, I use one sheet of paper or... Mm -hmm. What actually everything I do on, on camera, I'm I'm actually going to put my Etsy shop for sale. But um, right. Well, but if I mean, I'm like a, one sheet of paper and some materials, I I don't even think of the expense of that. I just think that like that must be so minimal because it's like so much. No. I mean, yeah, but you're no, giving no. time and everything. I know you're giving time and. Well, it's not. It's, I mean, time is can be free. It's just the things that you have to be paying for. Uh, such as your materials do cost money and, and fair enough it might be one sheet of paper but that's one sheet out of your 10 sheets of paper that you've got you know what i mean my uh, watercolor paper is expensive oh yeah i mean i was just looking at some today uh, for 13 13 sheets of paper they were, they were wanting like 22 pound which is like best part of 30 dollars are so it's not cheap oh oh chrissy yes you have etsy with prince i tried etsy with um prince and it didn't work for me so my new collection um being launched on set friday september 27th is going to be all original all original um creations including paintings um ceramic bowls and jewelry and necklaces all with all with my alcohol ink painting so i'm not going with prints anymore because what for one thing i can't i take a hit if i i do a print on because they have to all be print on demand and um i have mm. a print that prints them on archival paper and if somebody wanted to return i have to have a no return policy and everybody's turned off by that so now i can reinstate my return policy i can have a return policy 
because people are most places have a return policy and if you have a no return policy i think that really um turns people off so i take well, a hit with print on demand i mean they take I, they ask i add they ask for a print and then if i do a print on demand and they want to return it i mean i would take a hit so um i'm i'm doing i didn't do that last collection did not do well um, it's done. It's over, and now it's going to be all, all restocked with all original creations, which they can be returned if they wanted to. Thing is, if you do it digitally, uh, no, I did do digital. All my my last collection was all iPad digital art that could be printed on archival paper, but it was print on demand. Yeah, well, I I I'll, I'll come something that's a digit be returned all they have to do is download it oh no no i don't know how i i can do that on a, a very small scale i i do have some digi downloads that i have for like if people want to use it in their own artwork and they want to cut it up and mm. stuff like that i did that but um for a digi download like on a yeah i have to look i have to look into that more on like um like on a painting like on a painting if they <laughs> want to make a print of that Okay, well, I have to look into that making that file size big enough. Well, yeah, exactly. You, you keep you keep a you, you keep a copy that you put on the internet, and you keep a copy of the original piece that's uh, photographed. I, I'll have to look into that, but maybe like um, after I launch, I have to I have to look into that about um, the digit download. I see that's a big trend where like you like they. It's a painting, and like they, they instead of getting it for a, an original painting for a, lo, a little bit more expensive price, they're going to get it for six dollars, and they can print it as many times as they want. Well, I don't know about as many times as the well, one. Well, no, but, actually, you uh, do have to have, maybe you might have to put stipulations in that too, because I I had to do that with my digital downloads. How much you charge, my small if you have, downloads. If you say like it's a couple of dollars, it's one print, generally. No, uh, once they get the digit download, they can take that to their printer and make as many copies as they want. Well, yeah, they could make as many copies of the one. Except once got the stipulation is they but, can't really um, it. Thing is, at the end of the day, they've got to be careful not to be infringing copyright that you place in front of yeah, them. Yeah, you might have to put – I had to put in some stipulations about um the use of my – um collage digit downloads and that right. make sure that make sure that they, they can't i had to stipulate that they can't you they can't do more than this amount set amount and they can't mm. resale well the the idea the, the idea of a digi download is that it, it, it's a way of getting a print but uh, of the original image it's not for multiple um usage oh, i see what unless, you mean unless they apply for a, a license to yeah and coming, right and, and they might make a couple multiples but they wouldn't be doing mass multiples mm -hmm. i i see what you mean like it's a way for them so that they're going to take it to their printer because if they really want a good quality they're going to take it to their printer and say i want this on archival paper yeah that's 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 the whole point of it and then it, it, then it negates having to send an original or, or yes, a print that, that negates the, the problem of me having to do a print on demand and then if they ever wanted to return it i take a hit for that so you're right i got i gotta look into that uh, what i don't like about uh, etsy is the the uh, put on a uh, a rule that you it's got to be um free delivery now aren't it no you can it doesn't have to be free delivery that no that new thing where they do like um that's a choice you don't have to go along with that yeah, but, but i not, do not, i do free shipping anyway not be, people like it, but um I, but I it's I absorb that into my price. I add that into my price and they don't know mm -hmm. that well I put that into the price. You're still paying for shipping, but you just don't know it. 
Yeah, but I mean, some people have said that's a little bit um, underhand, isn't it? No, no, some people no, think no, that, but that's what you have to do. You can't take a hit for the shipping. No, no, no you can't because it costs no, a lot of money. You, no, it's perfectly um, legitimate to say I have to. You, you, you know, as a business person, you have to add. You have to, here's how much my square inch, like I, because I now I go by the square inch rule of how much I'm going to charge for a piece. I go by the, it's this many cents for a square inch. And then I add on what approximately estimating what the shipping is going to be. And then that's the price. And then um, I absorb the price and I absorb the shipping into my price so that I'm, uh, that's what a lot of people do. And then that in, way you're doing free business, shipping. In business, they always absolutely calculate every expense. I know. That's, there's different ways of looking at it. No, I know. There's different ways of looking at it. That's the price. And, the, and then they give you a, a, another price that's slightly higher. I know what you mean. There's some people that say, I don't go for that free shipping. I'd like to see every, I'd like to see it all itemized, what this is and what this is and what this is. But on the whole, a Nobody lot of people that. like to see free shipping. And, and that, that's the policy that they've gone with. And a lot of thirty five dollars and over. And it's that that's your choice. You don't have to you don't have to do that. You don't have to do free shipping if you don't want. Etsy isn't making you that do that. They're just saying if you if you have items that are thirty five dollars or over, you can push the big blue button and um and say that you have guaranteed free shipping for thirty five for items thirty five dollars and over and you um, you have guaranteed free shipping, and the um, you're going to get promoted uh, listings for that. They are yeah, going please. to promote the list. They're going to promote your mm -hmm. listings above the others for that. Exactly. You'll you, you'll get priority. A little Just, bit of priority for whatever that means for the millions of people on Etsy. It's 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 it's, it, it's good business for them, isn't it? Because it's it, it it makes it look as though they're giving you something for free, which they're not. Well, it's just how you look at it. Some people like to see free shipping. Other people oh, say, no. "Yeah, I, mean, I like to see it all itemized out. I like to see that this is what this is, and this is what the shipping costs." And different people think different things. Exactly. It's just just where you base your business at. But um, I don't know. They're not making you do everything free shipping. They're, they're not. I, mean, I know you're talking. Um, it's just, it's just it, it didn't ring very. Yeah, you are getting priority pro promotions. If for 30, for products $35 and over, if you're offering free shipping, you are going to get some priority for whatever that means among the millions of Etsy sellers. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, the chance of you. Find, if I were on there, the chance of you finding me is virtually zero. No, but they do have lots of traffic. So people have found me. Like, like, oh yeah, I had I'm also on Fine Art America. I have hardly mm -hmm. ever I made two sales in like 10 years. On Etsy, I did a lot better in one year. There's so much traffic on Etsy. Uh, but on top mm -hmm. of that, I did I did promote. Like I did, I did like, um, not promote, but I did, I mean, I'm not saying, I mean, I did show my work in a bunch of different Facebook art groups and it got attention mm -hmm. and people got interested in my work and they wanted to buy it. It's not like I said, this is for sale. They just like contacted me say, Oh, I really love this. And they want to buy it. And I told them where they could buy it. So, mm -hmm. um, but on top of that, I got a whole bunch of people. I don't even know. I got Etsy has so much traffic. They have the most traffic, more than Amazon Handmade, and um, mm. more than Fine Art America. They get yeah. the traffic, so that I got a whole bunch of people that I don't even know that did buy stuff. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of different solutions, though, isn't there? So, I mean, it, but think think is if if you think that you're going to just make it, we. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not expecting that. That's not what I'm looking for. But I know there are some people that can do that. Some people think that they, they can set something up. No, oh, just a second. Good old cadmium. 
Oh, I saw Maloney died. Hi, Chris Rodrigo. Got into some people. <laughs> no, I don't remember that movie with Peter Jenkins. Jason Agent. No, sorry, I don't remember that movie. Nice to see you here, Christopher. Why is the video glitching? Uh, is the video glitching? Is it glitching? I, I wouldn't know. Hi, Bobby. Um, it's, it's not. It's not glitching at my end. Oh, he's gonna get a raid on me. I love to have a raid. Oh. Um, thanks, Bob. thanks, Bobby. Um, oh, th thank you, Kylie. Thank you so much for stopping by. You stayed really long. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Dear well, friend, I'm, thank you so much. I'm going to... Um, Good night. Good night, um, Kylie. All right. See you later. I'm not going to be that long with this, to be honest with you, because it's, it's mostly detail and I'm not very interested in that. So. What do you mean? I thought your stuff always looks so detailed. I don't get it. It, it, it isn't, though. It's, it's not detailed at all. It's, it, it, it's the way I'm tricking you into thinking that it's detailed. I know. How do you do that? How do you trick us into thinking that? Because... I put detail in the key areas rather than putting it everywhere. Just in the key areas? Yeah, the the areas I want you to look at. No, no, wait a minute. So down down at the bottom, don't you have to put paint blue for water? Well, I have done that. This is oh, not water. Wait, let me say. This is not water. It, 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 or it'd be, it'd be walking on water, wouldn't it, this guy? It's grass. Oh, because he's it's grass because he's it's in the canal. It's on the canal. This is the grass from the canal. So we're not going to even see the, we're not going to even see the water. Uh, that, that, well, you, the only bit of water that you can actually see is that. Okay. And, and that, that that there is a reflection of the trees, so that's going to be green. You can't really tell the difference between the trees and the reflection of the glass, uh, the the reflection of it, other than what I'll do with it at the end. And then you'll then it'll like it'll carve it out and make it look more realistic. So what what you don't do is 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 um, create detail too early in the painting because right. if, if 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 you put detailing in early in the artwork, that means you've got to do it all over everywhere. You, you've got to look at a painting to start with as a global thing. Get the global effects and all the globe the large the large picture in first. Once you've got the large picture in, go detailed in areas where you need to be detailed. And and that's the real um th that's the thing that most people need to look at if they want to step up. To a, a higher level, stop, yeah. stop, stop looking at detail, and start looking at a painting globally. Then once they've finished the painting, to a level where there's nothing else you can do globally, start putting your detail in, and that sits on top of the rest of your painting, and it goes in key areas, not. Just key, only key areas, right? Hmm? So like, again. like you said, only key areas. Yeah. Key areas it, only for the detail. You, sh you should only ever use detail sparingly in a painting. Because if you put detail everywhere in a painting, your eye will just 
be too busy. It'll be running around looking for things. You go, oh, look at all that area. Oh, what am I looking at? <laughs> Is that your advice for even like any kind of painting, not just watercolor? That, that, that goes for every kind of painting. Okay. Because it, it, it's our eyes' perception, right? Our eyes are, are made to focus in on one thing at a time. Everything else that it's not focused in on is blurred. Right, yeah. That's how our eyes work. So we should help us eyes by just putting focus points of detail in in the areas that we need to put them in. Oh, okay. Oh, let, me read the chat. let me check the chat. The uh, thing, thing is with this, the, the, the issue is with this is... Um, remove the sea. I don't know what somebody's talking about. Christopher, what are you talking about, remove the sea? River. Somebody said, is that a houseboat? And Chrissy did said that, yes, that is yeah. a houseboat. It's, that's what they call, well, they're called narrow boats. Uh, we call them houseboats. Yeah. But it's the this, this same thing. They live on them, yeah. I'm checking the chat, can't go. And these specific boats, they actually, Chrissy says they cannot go on rivers. They can only go on canals. Yeah, because the actual, the canals are, are man-made rivers, right? Right. And the, the flow of water is controlled. Whereas right. a river, a, a, a river uh, is a natural thing that doesn't have a control of flow of water. So one of these would crash if, if you put one in a river. Although they, are still, they, don't, they don't have the control. They can't control the boat as well. Uh, not as not as well as what a boat can. You know what's got an outboard motor. These don't have those. They have they have like. Have you ever been on one of those things where it's got like a um a. a it, it spits water out at the back and it goes poof, 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 Oh, poof, poof. yeah, I've oh, seen that, that. Like the Mississippi River. Fair, yeah. Like Mississippi River, those kind of boats. Yeah, they're like that. Uh, they, they, have, they have, And that's how they move forward, by it being pushed by that jet of water. So they're not very... But if that were flowing in a direction, it would just keep flowing backwards. So... Oh yeah, the the one that like um has the wheel in the back that that goes around and around and around and around and 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 oh the 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 steam out the water. It's called a steamboat. I think no, yeah, is steam it called a steamboat? No, they're is that a steamboat? They're slightly different. The, no, but, that's not a steamboat. And and the uh, that kind of boat that you're painting can only go slow. It, I think that's yeah, a they, they go very, very slow. But the thing is, they have got a capacity to to carry and um, uh, pull an awful lot of weight. That's that. That's what they're good at doing. Oh, they they're good at pulling a lot of weight. Yeah, they are. But that's a houseboat for people to live on. Yeah, the the these were, but they weren't too dissimilar to those. All they were is they didn't tap. They didn't. The more often than not, didn't have the roof on it, but everything else they just used to like chuck loads of stuff in them. It, it was the same kind of boat, but without the roof on it. Uh, and that what that was uh, for transporting the the stuff from one place to another. Oh my goodness, I'm reading back in the chat. I'm scrolling back in the chat. 
And when we were talking about the Etsy thing, like with oh, the, yeah. the people were, one person was saying, oh, we are into markets and economics now. No, not really. And then, and then, and he said, and, oh, and then somebody else said, we don't care. And then somebody else, and Chrissy said, well, you crack, you crack me up, you two. <laughs> Oh, we get into some right conversations, don't we? We're yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, here, yeah, and then Kylie did say it doesn't. It does not have to be free delivery, but they no. will. They will um, promote your channel. They will prompt channels that give free delivery, right? For whatever it's worth, among the millions of. Come on, millions of them. Mm. What is this? I she goes and Kylie, she laughed, but she said, Kylie, Kylie said, I know, Chrissy, it's like a soap. Do you think we could sell it? What, what like a soap opera? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe Chrissy said this. She said, they're like she said Chrissy said they're like a squabbling couple I tend to do that with most people <laughs> I do too if but you, that's you, better I do I do with anybody you what tend you to do that with people that? me too guess what you put us together that's what we're going to sound like <laughs> that's it exactly Here's my little sign writer because I wanted to put somebody doing a uh a, a sign on the on the uh boat because that's what they do a lot. That's uh because they're into hand painted signs on boats like these, and some of them are really nice and decorative. So watching a video this afternoon about wait, wait a minute, a quid is a British pound. It's the yeah. same thing. It is. But so who says quid and who says pound? Uh it's it's just a color it's just a common phrase for a pound. Everybody oh okay. does. you use you would you would say a quid also. Yeah. And what you mean when you say a quid is you just mean a British pound. Yeah, a quid. Oh hi one piece of mine, Alicia. Welcome. Mark Twain boat. Somebody said Mark Twain boat. Uh, weren't that a steam paddle boat? I don't know. Hi, Kevin Helming. Welcome. Um, I don't You're know. You're saying, oh, somebody else said a pedal boat, paddle, a paddle boat, yeah, a steam paddle boat. As far as I know, it is a steam paddle. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not right up on the American history, so I might be and wrong. Is he still in here to tell set people straight? They have engines. But only small, small and yeah, they, they have little outboard, what they call uh, out, outboard motors, uh, and it, it, it just like pump, it pumps water in, and it pushes it out, and, and that motion makes it move forward. And that's how they work. And they can, and like I, I think I just said this before, they can only go slowly. Yeah, they go very, very slowly. Wow. Life on these boats is slow. That's why people like to go on holiday on them because you, you like, it's like three mile an hour kind of life. So if they, if somebody on holiday took this boat, they, they would just go up and down the canal. Yeah. They, they'd have a, they'd have a, a week or so going up and down canal with pop, 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 pop. And, and then they'd, the, and they the, get off. They can get off in different scenic destinations. Yeah, yeah, they can. They can like the the tend to have pub near canal or something like that, where you can go and have a dinner or something like that. Yeah, Chrissy says yes. They go like three miles an hour. Yes, they don't go much. I mean, they're not particularly fast. Wow, it's uh, um, 
What other little bits? Oh, there is a little bit of burgundy. It'd be unusual for a, 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 a narrow boat not to have a little bit of burgundy on it. And, and these, these little things here, they're actually uh, painted, they're not necessarily painted by a sign writer. He'll, he'll do the really decorative lettering. But these panels here, they used to be done by the workers on the boats. And that's where you get naive work from. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, people who weren't trained in the arts but they did their own artwork on the boats to make them decorative and that's where the expression naive work comes from it comes from what what was that again the, the um right the sign writing were generally left to professional sign writers right you know, if it, if it had a company name on it or a name at boat, that were left to a sign writer. But they have these panels on them, right? And and what they used to do, the people uh, who, who lived on them, yeah, they used, to, they used to decorate them with decorative flowers, paintings. You seen them? Did you used to see them? Oh, you can you can look it up. Look at narrow boat. Uh, you can look it up, but did you ever like experience seeing them? I, I live right next to a canal, and there's dozens of these boats right next to where I live. So, like yeah. a few like years ago, or even right now. Now, well, thing is, today they're there for leisure and pleasure, but many hundreds of years ago, they used to be working and. But they're for work. Right. They were the truck of the, literally, they were the truck drivers of their generation. <laughs> the truck drivers of their generation. Yeah, they, they were people who used to transport all goods all over the country. Oh, okay. So, but those, what they lived in, they used to have like watering cans and they used to paint little flower decorations on them. And things like that. And uh, the artwork that's done on that, because they weren't done by professional artists, were termed naive work. And that's where you get naive work from. Okay. If you've ever heard of that. Right, yeah. So, I'm not right sure that I'm that far off from finishing. Chrissy says her and her husband used to build house drawn, no, like horse drawn wagons. Oh, yeah. And she used to paint them like horses' heads and lettering. Yeah. It, 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 it's a tradition of like um, painting. Uh, certain symbols uh on on things like uh carts and things like that and and, and caravans horse drawn caravans used to have them as well and and it were all called naive work hmm. because they weren't done by what's called uh trained professionals okay no, and then, no, and then no. Chrissy said yes i've painted loads of stuff for barges for example kettles canes etc exactly you, you look it up it's a really fascinating uh period of history to, uh, and it might give people some um uh inspiration to actually go ahead and uh, do some of that art because it's really interesting. Yeah, I, I never. This is all new to me. Right, so you need to look up uh, um, narrow bow art, and you'll you'll uh, see that there's uh, quite a bit of. Uh, they do lots of roses, and you know how how. If you're doing a basic 101 
rows and you do a pattern with a brush by splaying it out like that that's where that came from that's how they used to depict roses and In chris fact, chris yes go on go on chrissy said um what you're calling primitive art and she goes it's also called folk art um kind of I think it comes from a slightly different environment, folk art. And you're going to leave the the windshield like up front white like that? It's it's just a it's just a white box. It, but I, I, I was thinking about not putting it in, to be honest with you, because it serves little or no purpose in the painting. But um, I'll see if I can like get it to be a bit more exciting. It's like a, it's just like a box of some kind. That's, I don't want to be adding too much detail to it. Stay away from the detail, Ian. Stay away from it. Goodness, there's somebody that when I look at your paintings, I think, wow, look how much detail there is. Well, I must have done something right then because I've not painted it in very great detail. Oh, and, and you say that it, Yeah, I haven't painted it in great detail, but it... But yet it looks like detail. So like I don't know what how I don't know how you differentiate it. Detail you can see every minutiae of everything. Right. Okay. Uh, the, what I'm doing is I'm I'm no, I never do. I, I'm not a detailed person, so uh with um with this kind of painting, I'm I'm trying to paint as loosely as I possibly can, and just show some detail in key spots. Yeah, that's it. I, think I can remember what, that. What, what watercolor, basically, is is not a highly detailed painting uh, tool. That if you want to do if you want detail, painting oil. Painting oil. Uh, but even then, uh, an oil painter is tricking you into thinking that he's done loads of um, really strong detail when he hasn't. Oh, boy. Okay. Right, I'm, uh, I think that's about as much is i'm going to do on that there so i'm going to go back now and start putting some dark areas in this is where i'm i'm, I'm going to use a lot of really dry brush work why are you going to use dry brush and then chrissy said yes folk art for canal boats roses flowers and also animals painted on the boat I think I, I I think it's come to be called that, but it, um, folk art uh, isn't just that uh, naive style. Uh, folk art covers a, a broad range of all sorts of different styles of art, and I think it's just a generic overall thing. Whereas naive work is it is a specific form of art that's done uh, directly on onto things like this or onto watering cans and things like that yeah um gosh no i i would think naive art is almost as, is the same thing as primitive art yeah they're all in that same bracket all of them but like they don't show depth. For one thing, they don't show depth. Everything is flat. I say in primitive and folk art, everything is pretty much flat. They really don't show depth. Yeah, because it. it, it well, I, I don't know. It, it, that might be down to individual artist or group of artists who got together and said that's mm -hmm. where the, that they want to express themselves. But. Um, 
Oh, and Chrissy says she has friends who live in these boats. That's interesting. Hi, Bobby. Welcome back. Or thank you for still being here. Thank you. You said you're still here. Okay, awesome. Oh, did you say we're, I might get a raid? Bobby, do you think I, there might be a raid from another channel? Let's see. Uh, Kathleen says, nice way of life living on the canals. They tend to be uh, people who, who, who've got a bit of money and have been able to do one of these projects of mending one because they cost a load of money and uh, they're retired and what have you or, or, or it's one of the little country retreat things. So in saying that, you do get other people going on these like um, people who are on stag dudes and stuff like that who are ultra annoying ultra annoying oh yeah they are really loud the goodbye <laughs> the goodbye the goodbye you know you can you can't tell one of these boats is going by normally but when some desired one out oh we, it's and, like a party boat people are really loud they're having a party on it oh, and they've got speakers on 10 times louder than your ability to hear Oh, no. Nightmare. <laughs> and there and there's like many many different canals in the, like in the UK or something. Uh, I, I don't know exactly, but there's hundreds of miles. And I, mean, I, what I what I I don't know about I think in the canal well, um, a canal or whatever it was a. Yeah, I think it was a canal where so if it goes from they have an elevator that will take the boat from the high part of the the high oh. part of the canal or river to the low part. They have to take an elevator. The boat has to take an elevator. It, it's called a lock. It, oh, yeah. It, a lock. it, it, it right. gets it, it gets it. The boat goes into this segmented area. Right. And then a, a door is locked behind it. And then it's the water is drained out of it right the boat, the boat then sinks down to the next level because there's no water in it and then the other the other door is then opened and it, it becomes level with the and that's how they go down oh Hi, Joylands travel welcome you're i think you're new in here welcome joylands travel And Chris and Cleveland Lake is still in here. If you ever get the chance to come over to England, to the north of England, uh, come to the come to that area and go and have a go on the Liverpool and Leeds Canal. Have a look at it because it's a fascinating place to look at. Uh, a piece piece of uh, socialism. It's only in northern England. Yes, northern England, bypass London. So, do you live near Chrissy? Not far away. That you guys could meet. Well, we we nearly did do because we've got a a local thing that's um, but unfortunately due to me not being able to make it up there, <laughs> we didn't we didn't do it. So not far away, you could meet up. Oh yeah, I'm sure we will do one day. She says she lives near the Liverpool and Leeds Canal. Well, that's the canal. That's the canal that I normally live next to because it goes through Skipton. So you can literally go from Skipton to Liverpool if you want. She to. said you guys will meet soon. We will. It's just having time to, I mean, I, I need to go up to Skipton Art Shop, which is one of my favourite art shops, uh, and um, get myself some Rembrandt watercolour paper. Because it looks nice, that. I've been doing some research. So, I think... So, it's a I'm, paper you've never had before? No. Um, 
it, it's by Royal Callan, and I've, I, I have their Rembrandt's watercolours, and they're fantastic, absolutely top of the range. Uh, I, I want to have a look to see whether the paper's any good. But we'll see. Chrissy says she loved that art shop. It well, that's the only place I've ever seen it being sold. That paper. So uh, I'm going to go up and uh, see if I can order a couple of cases. Cases of what? <laughs> when I buy paper, watercolor paper, I don't buy a couple of sheets. I buy a couple of boxes. Oh right! I I, well, I don't buy yeah. I don't buy I, a, I buy them by like a pad. I, I buy I buy in bulk. I buy in bulk because it's 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 better to do that. Oh, okay, right. You get better deals when you buy in bulk. Yeah, that's right. So, do you know what I think? I think I think I'm done. Okay, everybody. He thinks he's done. And thank you so much. Let's see. Yeah, the one thing is that that's a reddish orange, right? Or am I seeing it right? Or is that a brownish red or what? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the boat itself on the photograph is... Was red. Uh, that was pretty red. It, 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 it's a very bright red. But, you know, with watercolours, to be frank, there isn't a very bright... There is a very bright red, but... What I've done is I've done it. I've, I've got an orange, and I've and you put it with green, and they're complementary colors, so green is going to make the red pop. Well, that that side of the boat, because because light is coming from that side, right? From there, uh, this in theory should all be fairly dark anyway. Oh, so. Uh, and in the photograph, it is at, at the at the side there. It's dark, whereas round here it's very light, which is what it should be because light's hitting that side there. But what I've tried to do is not uh, make it just one overriding red because red red in a watercolor painting can be overly dominant. So I've cooled it off a bit. I so you made, it, you made it reddish orange or reddish brown? Yeah, it's more it's more like a it, it's more like a, um, a a cadmium red rather than a pyrrole red. Uh -huh. Pyrrole reds are very very post box or a, what what you call a fire engine red. I mean, I could put a little bit more in, but it's already it's already like jumping out. See what you're seeing uh, in quite the colours that I'm seeing. You see, that's down to right. Uh, the camera is not going to always. It's not going to catch it always the same it, way. It, uh, part of the issue is it's night time here, and I'm I'm working off a light, and the oh, light okay. off the colour. If I pull that light away. Is it any brighter that? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. What? Yes. Yes. The background's a little bit brighter. Yeah. See, because I'm not putting as much um, strong light on it. So, but so that's that's roughly it. What's so, oh. And then sure. it's on my let me I'm trying to read the chat. It's on my IG and Ian. Okay, Kathleen says, Ian, I really have enjoyed watching and listening to you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Kathleen. Just remember okay. everybody, if if you want if if you've got a painting, a, a picture, right, and it can be anything. Uh, that you want me to do next week or whatever, send it send it either to me or to Diane. Yeah. Uh, let me know. Um, 
if you have a picture, if you see me, like, because I, you guys are going to see me um, in Bobby's or Pick a Rick's um, live streams. Let me know if there's a picture. It could it could include people, right? It can include people, yeah. right? It, it can be it can include people, people, landscape, seascape, anything on um, pets or animals. If there's a is long, there a, so long as long, it's a good so long as it's a good clear picture of the thing that you want in doing, mm -hmm. and he, and mm -hmm. it, it's uh free to be used. Don't send right, right? Don't send photos that you don't know isn't copyright free because uh dino uh get in trouble for putting it on a uh, youtube so um then, oh yeah never mind um and then um yes yeah, so wait a minute hold on it's on my ig okay um and cleveland lee says it's very nice artwork and um, I mean, once I've um, left it for a bit, like always, I'm going to come back and do a little bit of messing about with it. I, 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 I nearly oh, are you, are you, so after you, you have to give your eyes a rest from looking at it, right? Yeah, exactly. It gives you a bit of time away from it, and, and you can you can sit and go, oh no, that needs adjusting. Oh right, yeah, exactly. That all, that, that all depends on whether it's a commercial piece of artwork, and it's not. So it may not necessarily um, do that, but you know, for the sake of me teaching it. I'll, I'll probably uh, finish it off later with little bits of, you know, tiny what, little highlights, bits, little, highlights, little, 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 little bit. Details. You know, it's just, but the 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 majority of the work is done now on that. Oh, so grayscale painting. He happens to be. He's going to be my um guest artist on monday he does he he does he paints acrylic and oil but uh, mainly acrylic and um very i think ma very good landscape and anyway he says wonderful job chrissy campus art says good job ian thank you and kathleen elliott says really yes really nice work as always thank you all i'm glad i've been able to uh yeah, thank you ian thank um, you ian, for like coming by on Fridays, whenever you get on Friday, and we've also learned a little bit about oh, yeah. social and history if, as well. I know that's that, that's the neat thing about this. About what well, you're not just doing a painting, but we're learning some history too. I think that interests a lot of people. Mm, why not? It, 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 if you've got any, it, it, it really does help uh, with a painting and expressing the emotion of the painting. If you've got a bit of a knowledge of what it is that you're painting. So if anybody has I um pictures that they they would like painted, it could be people, landscape, seascape, um something um different I don't know, different things that does anybody think that they oh hi Pecan baby, she's from Ireland. She says beautiful hi, Pecan. Hello Diana and everybody in the chat room, welcome. He can be in Ireland. Mm -hmm. what, 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 you were saying something, Ian? No, no, not at all. Oh, something, was, something was making noise over on your audio. I didn't know. All right. No, Did I, anybody have um, ideas for paintings? Um, so thank you so much, Chrissy Canvas Art. She, mm. she uh, gave the idea, to get, she gave the picture today for the barge. For this canal barge boat, which is, is it's an historical barge. They they don't use this anymore. Uh, they, they use them for going on the college trips and things like that. Leisure, leisure oh, vacation. They used to they used to use them to live in. The people who worked on the barges. Okay, right? they might live in them also. The the they lived in them. But they don't they don't transport freight like this anymore. They they are gonna only no, use trains no, and trucks no, now. We have, we, have, we, have, we have these things called trucks these days. Trucks and trains. Yeah. 
<laughs> instead of the canal barges for the, trains. I mean, the, the beginning, the beginning of the end of of these. Uh, this kind of way of life were when steam trains started to all uh, uh, stuff. That were it. Uh, the, these vanished. They've only survived by being turned into like holiday things where oh, people, right. where okay. people can hire, hire them out and go on a nice boating trip. You have, can't. You ever, have you ever ridden on one of these? I've had, I've had a ride up and down bits. Of, um, uh, this young maiden who were in distress, uh, she had a, she had one of these boats, but she couldn't, she couldn't, she weren't strong enough to pull the boat into more into the anchor on the side. So, uh, as a gentleman, I uh, pulled it in for her the uh, boat. And she was great. Later on, she gave me a little ride into town on on the actual boat. And the boat had a small engine. It has a very small engine. Yeah. Put it this way: you can walk faster than that can travel. Oh my good! Oh yeah, she said they go three miles an hour. So. Uh, three, yeah. three, I mean, if you're really pushing it, we're a really good engine. Four mile an hour is probably peak speed. Yeah, four miles an hour is like what I, I if, if my maximum is what I walk on the treadmill. And then other than mm. that, that's maximum. If, if nothing, if my knees, and ankles or nothing hurts, I can walk mm. four miles an hour. But if not, oh. I go 3.7. And today mm. I was going about 3.5. You can't keep uh, more than three mile an hour up for a long run, though. So uh, I'd say three mile an hour is an average basic walking speed. No, what are you talking about? For how many hours? No, I can keep up. Long, like long, long term, you won't be able to do four mile an hour because your body yeah, just yeah. Go, I'm tired. That's oh, no. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's more than an hour or 45 minutes, but for like 45 minutes or 50 minutes, um, you, I, yeah. I have been able to keep up 4.0. Like that is a little tricky. It's not always easy, but for the most part, I can keep up 3.7 miles an hour. It, it, it's uh, like Usain Bolt. He can he can do uh, 9.7 mile, uh, 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 9.7 seconds uh, in 100 meters, but he can't keep that up for an hour, can he? So. <laughs> That's so, why I'm saying 3.7 miles an hour. I can keep that up. I could keep that up for an hour. I, I would. I would imagine that most normal people, unlike you, you uh, super fit people, will go to gym. Okay. Yeah, just think on us mere mortals. We don't go to the gym every day. So, yeah, when uh, I go to the gym, I am trying to walk faster than I usually do. You're saying that when I do hiking, there's very few people can keep up with me speed wise. Oh, really? I'm a very fast hiker. I have to keep I have to keep slowing myself down when people go. Uh -huh. And it hurts that. It, it, when you're walking slower than what you should be walking, it really gets painful. It's like you're being deliberately slow. Oh, when you have to slow down, that gets painful? Yeah. It can do, yeah. I feel it is painful, yeah. But anyway, we digress. Yeah, that's hello. okay. Wait a minute. We had somebody ban. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Let me see how I say your name. Ban and then nectar. Okay, this is a uh, historical barge boat mm -hmm. from the UK. That they use. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sure somebody in, in America will have a bad boat somewhere. The public it's just a put watercolor it painting, um, Miss um, Banana <laughs> Nectar. It's a watercolor painting. He just painted it on law. He painted it live. You're catching the tail end of it. He had just finished it. He he painted it live, and um, somebody donated the photograph to him. Each week, he takes a photograph of somebody. Uh, 
that somebody wants to donate to him that he will um, paint a picture on most Fridays here on my channel. And yes, um, th now they use those boats for leisure. For people take vacations on these canal boats. They're canal barge boats that are in the UK. Does that answer your question? If you're still there, I hope you're still there. Um, the, um, uh, they have them in France a lot as well. And you can you can hire them out in France. So if you ever go to France, you can have like a, a weekend badge uh, uh, through all the canals of uh, France, which is, that's what I'd like to do probably. To go, to go on canal boats that are in France? Yeah, in some scenic places in France. You know, some, like stop, do a painting and then move on. Right. I, I lived in France for a year and a half in my junior year of college. It was nice. And then since then, oh, wait a minute. I'm still here, but the raid fell through. Okay, sorry. Oh, thanks, Bobby, for trying anyway. Thanks, Bobby. C-Stack rules. Hello, Ian. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to get off in a bit because I'm, I'm... Oh, I just want to tell you what one of your fans said. C-Stack rules says, Ian is one of my favorites. Oh, thank you. I was like, do you know? I, oh, deliberate mistake. Do you know? There's there's a something missing. There should be, there should be a, a spare tire. Oh, go ahead, paint it in, and then um, and then um, somebody it, else. It, said, on, on these on these things, right? They gotta have a spare tire. What do they need a tire for? Well, it's, probably, it's the inner tube. It's the inner tube from a a, a car, right? Right. So they put on there. So if anything falls in, you know, if you fall in water, uh, you know, you you can get in it and not drown. <laughs> Oh, it's for you to like be to like be in the inner tube as a floating device so you don't drown. Yeah. And it's there. That's where it and is. Where is it? it should be on the front. They got it on the front. They got it on front there. They probably got one at back as well. Yeah. It, but I forgot to put it in. And um but that's as much detail as you need in a film. It's one of my it's Lisa Rules as you know one of my favorite and um Somebody else, oh yeah, Pecan Baby, who's from Ireland, says, I love barge boats. They are really beautiful and like a floating home. Yes, many people live on them now, or they take leisure, they take their vacations on a, um, one of these UK barge boats now. Because they're, they're not used for freight anymore. No, they've not been used for freight for over 100 years. You have a dog? No, that's one of neighbors' dogs. Just wait till they all start barking. That's your neighbors' dogs. It's one of the neighbors' dogs. Oh, and then, they, and then they all start barking. Oh yeah, if they get if they're having a happy hour, happy giddy hour, one will start barking, and then over and then others will go bah, 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 and then others will go. Bah, 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 bah. That must like, drive you crazy. Oh, it is because it, it, they always start when I want to do a, a recording. Oh no, really? <laughs> I love animals, but sometimes I don't. But you don't. You don't have any pets. No. Uh, well, uh, uh, at our flat in um, in Skipton, it says in our contract that we're not allowed them. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't have one, or I'd have a pet Ewok. Well, what's an e? No, an Ewok is a fantasy animal, right? Well, <laughs> some people have. Uh, uh, yeah, an Ewok is a fantasy Ewok. animal. I some even asked that people. question. Ewok <laughs> is from Star Wars. Why? Why can't I have an Ewok? Okay, you can. So now, now, don't make fun of me for asking if that was a real animal. <laughs> I just caught myself after a few seconds. It's okay. I'm gonna get grief in the chat. I know it. People are gonna like make fun of me. I, I, Duh, when, Duh, I, Duh. 
uh, I know I caught myself and within th within 30 seconds I caught myself that Ewok is not a real animal. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see what that's saying. They're gonna have a heyday with this. Uh, Maybe. So, uh, uh, oh, one of those pogs, they are nice. No, uh, only pet I've ever had that were my own. Well, it were in our garden. And I used to go and look after it and take water to it and that. A newt. A newt. The newt. A newt. Somebody had that as a pet? I, I used to have one as a pet. What family of um animals is that? It's a little amphibian. Is it is it like an el elongated frog? Oh, oh okay <laughs> all right <laughs> kind of i've heard of it before i've heard of it before and i forgot what like what family of animals that's from look, they look like little lizards but the the uh water based how about do you like chameleons i have actually held a chameleon yeah right right weird it didn't do much color changing though. It probably was a dyslexic one. Probably yeah. didn't know much color to change. Uh please sack rule says he's an amphibian. He's cold blooded. Oh goodness. I hope you're well, not well, evil. Yeah, yeah. Um uh, what Chris says he's an amphibian. What, what was it's, that? Is that cold blooded or cold hearted? No, it was Slee Stack Rules who says that you're one of his favorites. He just said I'm an. He says he's an amphibian, and he's cold blooded. And yeah. I said, Oh, I yeah. hope you're not cold blooded evil. No. I know. I know what cold blooded cold blooded means. When it that means that they their their temp, their body temperature just changes with whatever the external temperature is. Yeah. The, the regulated differently to we have our own internal warm blooded we're warm blooded mammals have mammals have internal combustion uh that warms the cells we don't need the sun uh, uh, cold blooded animals they need the sun to warm up they do yeah it, it's, oh, okay. kind of their battery, it's their battery charger okay and that includes lizards uh uh, some sea animals and probably snakes, all all the reptiles and well, everything, right? Well, reptiles and amphibians. When I, when I, when I say when I say lizards, I, I include snakes in amongst them because they're basically all that kind of family. But um, um, yeah, a newt, although it's a completely different type of animal, it's it's kind of like a lizard. So what is one thing that you, what is something that you've never painted? I don't know. I, I've been painting for 40 years. I've either forgot or, or um, the rent out that I've not painted. Oh, you, you can't think of anything for public, you've not painted? For public consumption. you painted portraits before, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you, Cleveland Lay. You have a blessed day, too. Oh, wait a minute. And Miss Lee Sack Rule says, I, I crawl up on the road on a summer night while mm. it still gives off heat. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's what we do. Thing, thing is, with, um, with, they've got to be really careful, um, Newt, because if, if, if they stay out in the sun too long, they dry up and then they die. Oh, okay. It's the water based. So they've got to be re really careful, Newt, about how long they stay out in the sun. Oh, I see. They look oh, a bit like. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Or how long they stay cold and don't get frozen. Mm. Mm hmm. But anyway, I'm I'm gonna have to go because I'm I'm moderating. Yeah, I have to go too. So if anybody wants to request Ian to paint something next Friday, let me know. 
let me know if you see me in live stream let, uh, go to my or go to my um, YouTube channel and in the about page is my email it's my email address if if there's any if you have any requests for Ian to paint um something in watercolor next next Friday mm -hmm. okay I, I, I might I might be tempted to do a face next week really you'd like to do one possibly I mean if nobody actually uh, sends in a picture I might be tempted to do a face okay mm -hmm. I'm, I might send you a picture of a face I might send you a picture of two no. people's faces yeah. a mother and a son a mother and a son oh, the only thing is I say a father and a son I might tell I might send you a father son picture or a mother son picture but the only thing that it needs to be with this is it, it needs needs to be um it, it needs to be nicely detailed so i can see the detail in the picture and it needs to have lots of good contrast all right okay not a face that's like washed out and all one color yeah which happens in photographs a lot right yeah. you've got to make sure that your picture's got lots of good contrast oh gosh okay like so, so that it be like side light side lit so yeah, that side, like side dark lit. on one side and light on the other side right yeah, think, think rembrandt and you've got the right the right idea for when that I goes, think of rembrandt I, I don't i don't think of that but i mean so but I, what i'm saying is it should be side lit right so one side is light and the other side is a little darker Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's what they call the Rembrandt lighting. Okay. All Sorry. right. Um, so, yeah, and, and that goes for any kind of painting, uh, whether that be oil, watercolour, uh, pastel drawing, uh, pencil sketching. Uh, the, the, the more contrast there is in the image, the better the image will come out. So if you go to a, an artist and say, uh, can you can you do this photo? Uh, it, it needs to be reasonably con contrasted. Oh, okay. For them to be able to do it. Or, they got, or they'll have to create the contrast themselves, which will then, it's, once you start having to create your own contrast in an image, it kind of takes, the originality away from the painting it it, it kind of like it, it's not quite the same as what the image is so okay uh, so the, uh -huh. the, the contrast would originally be there it, it's what, it's, is it's, art, it's, facebook art bar gonna group gonna be uh, they're they're act they're gonna have an activity tonight they're going uh, live tonight uh, uh, it should have started now Geez, on a Friday night they get people. No, uh, normally we have Thursday night, but due to Monday separate... night, don't wait, did you stop doing Monday night? No, Monday night is for the art bar game. Yeah, yeah, the MM mixed media something MMM stick. Yeah, and then Thursday is something else. Thursday, it's like I don't know, it's, it's like group things, you know, and then Friday, Friday is. No, no, uh, because it weren't on Thursday. Right? Oh, it had to be postponed from Thursday to Friday. It's, it's tonight. What? What's it going to be? I don't know. I have a clue. All I am is a moderator on it and an oh, administrator. Okay. okay. Not the person who does the I art. Did, on. I did check a post. Oh yeah, I did check a post that was on Art Bar Facebook group, and mm -hmm. um, and they were talking about um. She said, "She said that they were going to start the September swap." And I'm, and I was like waiting to hear about the video live video hop. But nobody, you never, you're not going to do that yet. Unfortunately, due to various people not being well and all that sort of stuff, we'll oh, okay. postpone that. But once we get, I think we'll probably have. I don't know. We're, we're going to have a chat about it and see what okay. we could. It takes so many people to get all administrated. Oh, okay. on my back. And although I, uh, I have got time to do it, 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 that means it takes me away from everything else. Okay. Thanks so much for being here. All right. Yeah. Then. Uh huh.
And everybody oh, else yeah. appreciates what you do also. Uh -huh. Okay, bye everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, and uh, I will see you again. And keep check my community tab. For, tomorrow, maybe 11 a.m., maybe 11 a.m. I'll be doing a live stream of, of my own artwork live. But we'll... Um, uh, that's tentative Saturday or Sunday, 11 a.m. I weekdays I do 4 p.m. and weekends would be 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. So okay. on Monday, on community what? tab. I always post it. I always post it on my community tab. Yes. Who, who have you got on Monday again? Just remind us. Monday is going to be a guest artist named Grayscale Painting, and he does he mm -hmm. paints in oil and or acrylics, but he make only he makes he. He mainly paints in acrylics, and um, I'm I'm not sure if I think he's painting a landscape, but I'm not sure what he I'm not sure what picture he's painting. But um, he's my guest artist on Monday. Grayscale I, I, painting is the name of his channel. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll be good because I've had a look at his uh, his site, and he's got. Some oh yeah, you look at his site, and uh, he's got some really good. Yeah, he has some good stuff, right? That'll be well worth watching. Yeah. Okay. Good. So Ian might be there. Me, Ian will be in the chat watching. Alright. All right then. Well, Thank I, I'm you. Gonna... I always love having you on. I'm being I'm being ailed. Okay, I always love having you on. Everybody right, everybody then. appreciates watching you loving watching you paint. Bye. 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 Bye.